and we're back. Another flat start. Let me get that off you. Got it. Uh, just show you how narrow our scaffold is. It doesn't look too bad, there's no wall there. Once the wall gets there, your bricks. And our micro loading bay. You can have a pack of brick, that's it. You can't have your tub at the same time. So this is what the truss is to fall. And luckily we can shift the plank around so we get our intermediate profiles up on the corners for each end. So about 380 bricks to get on here today and a few blocks. So and it's raining and it's forecast not to rain. Never mind. Let's get this cracked today. Sunak has defended his decision to raise corporation tax for the most profitable companies to 25% in 2023. This measure, along with other moves such as freezing income tax rates.
128 percent I'm going to have to run around here. Main pipe done. Profiles down. Get profile up for this one. That's where the blakes come into their own on these pikes. I'm just going to set the button up there and get this cracked off. It's one o'clock now. but it might be that they're but if you're caught for this you're going to have to plead guilty because there's no way you could deny it well you would like to think so i think i think they, i think they would be properly busted helen thank you i'm glad you got your drive back jane gowers in york says we had newly planted trees stolen from our garden years ago they'd driven a van down the side of our fence and they simply plucked them out they left the dozen or so planted down our front garden drive but then they came back a few days later and took those two
Listen whenever you fancy it by downloading the BBC Sounds app. Thank you, Sarah. See you in a little while. BBC Radio 2. Bobby, good afternoon. Hey, you're right, you're right. First of all, A980 uh, Bankery, we've got it blocked by an accident between the Raymore House Hotel and the fuel station. So it's between Torfins and Garlogi. It is still a no-through route. Uh, Scottish Borders, the A68. Now we've got a breakdown between Ulster and the A6105 and the Greenlow turn-off, so you can squeeze by through there. North Ferriby, A63, eastbound, has just reopened. M1, southbound, uh, Junction 36, which is Barnsley, south of 35, which is Rotherham. There's an accident there and at least one lane shut. A55 closure westbound is still in place, so it's closed between 38, the post house roundabout, and 36 for the Warren Bank interchange. On the eastbound side, it's slow past the scene, but westbound still completely closed. M6 northbound, 8 to 9, up from the M5 through to Wensbury. We've got emergency repairs, so that's slowing traffic uh, for about 15 minutes, so not too bad. And the A12 between Wrentham and Southwold, we've got it closed following the earlier accident at Fossenden. Now they're carrying out investigation work between South Cover and the Kiln Road still. So you can't get through there, so you've got a diversion. And just an update on Woolwich Ferries. It's actually no change. It's still not operating. Uh, so just be aware you could find some congestion around the area. And that's until further notice. As it changes, we'll let you know. Uh, don't forget essential travel only, and I'll be back with another one in 30 minutes. So, Bobby, uh, mm -hmm. as you probably know already, is World Book yeah. Day today. Uh, the biggest annual celebration of uh -huh. books and reading. Uh, what are you reading at the moment? Oh, I am reading... Uh, it's... Uh, oh, you just caught me up because I can't remember it. it it's, it's the story of the 19-year-old girl who was on the internet and she Googled what she should do and she basically entered the Mongolian horse race. Her La Lara Pryor Palmer. There you go. Sorry. So, I'm so sorry. I can't remember I knew, knew we'd get there in the yeah. end. Sorry. <laughs> I'm reading a book by Ken Follett. Anyway, it officially started in 1995 and each year celebrates authors, readers, illustrators and books and aims to encourage young people to discover the pleasure of reading. Mm -hmm. You know I miss? But the kids not going to school because you would drive out in the morning and you'd see all the children dressed up in their favourite characters from books. And we don't have that, yeah, do we? No, I guess they're doing it at home today, yeah. aren't they? Uh, anyway, so this afternoon, uh, I thought to celebrate, um, we'd like to know if uh, you were to write your own autobiography. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what would you call it? Don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, you know, I, I would just list all the things like always yeah. check your engine oil. Yes. Uh, you know, don't do, just every little thing that I should have done better. Yeah. And then maybe then people can make different mistakes and learn from mine. So uh, Ross, studio manager, he, he would call his Hersham boy. Oh, he's yeah. From Hersham. OK. Remember the Sham 69 yeah. song? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Andy uh, would call his Mr. Tickle's Tall Tales. Oh, don't, don't ask. Yeah, I don't, no, yeah. Really, don't ask. I can imagine. <laughs> uh, me, I, I don't know what. I would probably call mine, woo, where did the time go? That's, you see? Yes. Yeah. I get that. Where did it go? Yeah, where did it go? Uh, anyway, what would you call your autobiography? Uh, you can text me, 88291. You can email me, gary.davis at bbc.co.uk.
Here goes Alex taking our gear back at 20 past three. So an early finish, as it should be for a pike and a half. That's it. It's the final garage on this road done. That's all the gardens are getting done. And there's the other half of pike. Been tough, nice big scaffold around here, but it's been a right pain in the ass working on that section. Once you've got your bricks loaded, there's not much room for anything. You have to have a spot board here and a spot board there, so a lot of walking up and down. So, apparently, we're getting another plot soon. So, I better get the uh, other jobs sorted out. See you on the next one.